a very short video on how to set up PG Admin. Now, if you've updated PG Admin on your factory in a box, you might find that you've lost your uh, server connect connection. So that is available to do here. And if you've in if you've updated your factory in a box to the latest version, we will be at PG Admin 4.28 at the time this video was created and in this version we have installed the uh, backup and restore tools so they won't be accessible unless you set the preferences up so let's do we've got so we've got two things to do we've got to we've got to add a new server and we've got to configure pg admin so as i'm here i'll just click on configure pg admin and i'll come down here to paths and it's binary paths and we want to change the path for uh, to, to tell uh, PG Admin where to find the Postgres utility programs, which are PG underscore dump and PG underscore restore. And they are stored in the user uh, local bin directory. We can save that. And that's that's all we need to do. Uh, so, those, so then those tools, uh, the backup and restore tools, will be available when we have something to backup and restore. So let's add a new server. So we're going to give it a name. We'll call it Fiab. And then it tells us now straight away that we have to add a host name, address, or service to specify that. So we'll click on connection. And then the host name and address. Well, it's available. In this case, because we're using a Docker image, the uh, essentially we just use Postgres all the way down here. Uh, that's how we can access that docker image by its network and we can leave it as it is we can add the password that we have um, on our system um, I will do that here and I will save the password and save it and then immediately you can see that we have that connection here so click on databases click on schemas it's public and here are our tables. Now we have something to backup and restore. We can access the backup and restore Oops, from our tools. So backup, for example, file name. Let's give it a file name. Uh, we have access to these two directories, config and storage. We can potentially put it in storage. Uh, let's look in there. Nothing in there. Let's give it a new file name. Uh, what do we have to do here? Um, rename file folder, show hidden folder folder, uh, backup storage, test.sql, create. Um, we will just potentially just dump the uh, schema only. Um, and let's see down here. We won't bother with any of the other stuff. We'll back it up. We've got a backup job created. It's completed. It was very simple. And that backup file will now be available on our Pi. Uh, 